ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Today, we're putting that power to the test. Welcome, everyone. This is the semifinals of K-Check! Hello, everyone. Ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman si Jules Giang for another semifinal round of K-Check. Ang K-Check ay para sa mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ng brain power nila through competition. At ngayon, sa ating semi-finals, malalaman natin kung sino sa kanila ang makakarating sa ating grand finals at the end of this week. Samaan nyo kami hanggang sa dulo dahil doon naman ay malalaman natin kung sino ang ating K-Check champion. So, apat na contestants from UP Diliman ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Tatlo sa kanila ay weekly winners at meron tayong isa na wild card selected from past contestants whose performance merits a slot in the semifinals. So, ang ating apat na contestants, nangunguna si Alan, who is a Bachelor of Education Studies student at the UP Open University, and he works part-time as an online tutor and is a fan of Miss Universe. Si Ray Mark naman ay computer science student. Back home, they have six cats. In his spare time, he jogs around the campus. Marco is a geography major who doesn't really rap, but enjoys listening to rap music. And today's wild card is business administration student John Vincent. He is mixed-handed, and he will probably explain later, and says he, obses he is obsessed with a mango graham shake sold at Area 2. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology of UP Manila. Next, we have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And finally, we have multimedia artist and Professor Emeritus teaching film at the UP College of Mass Communication, Film Institute, and Communication at the UP Open University, Professor Grace Javier Alfonso. So, at ngayon, contestants, this is round one. Make sure you wait until you are acknowledged before you give your answer so that your answer, if correct, can be given the proper credit. Correct answers are 10 points each, so get ready to buzz in and collect those points. Let's begin. Question number one. What is the name of the dog who waited every day? Alan. Hachiko. Let me proceed with the question. Every day for nine years for his deceased master at the Shibuya Station in Tokyo, Japan. You said Hachiko. That's correct. Okay, check. Question number two. What is the name of the young demigod son of Poseidon created GD? Percy Jackson. Created by Rick Riordan, who faces various quests and challenges with his friends and family. You said Percy Jackson. That is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. What is the title of the song by rock band Stone Roses, which is the popular term for the mineral iron pyrite? The correct answer is Fool's Gold. Question number four. It takes about one month to create this delicacy where duck eggs are soaked in brine ash. Alan. Salted eggs. Salted eggs is wrong. Let me proceed with our question. Soaked in brine, ash, quick lime, and rice hulls. Then they are left to ferment, which turns the egg white brown and the yolk green. What is this popular Chinese delicacy? JB. Century egg. Century egg is correct. K check. Question number five. Which country in Central America has a name that is Spanish for rich coast? Alan. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is wrong. Raymar. Costa Rica. Costa Rica is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. Bernard Arnold is the second richest person in the world in 2023, according to Forbes. He is the CEO of the world's largest luxury goods company, LVMH. Raymar. Armani. Armani is wrong. Okay, proceed with the question. What does the LV and LVMH stand for? Markel. Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton is correct. K-check. Question number seven. 
What do you call the shape of the track used in athletics at the Olympic Games? JB. Oval. Oval is correct. Kate Question number eight. In science, if females have two X chromosomes, what are the chromosomes of males? Alan. XY. XY is correct. Kate check. Question number nine. What large container for water or gas has the same name as a heavy armored fighting vehicle carrying guns? ZV. Tank. Tank is correct. Key check. Question number 10. What insect lends its name to the best picture winner of the 2023 Metro Manila Film Fest? Allen. Firefly. Firefly is correct. Key check. Question number 11. In elementary math. What fraction in lowest terms is equal to 75%? Uh, Raymart. Three-fourths. Three-fourths is correct. Key check. Last question for this round. First held in 1903. What is the most famous cycling race in the world, which is now, uh, Allen? Tour de France. Let me proceed, which is now 3,400 kilometers long. You said Tour de France. That is correct. Key check. And that ends round number one. Maraming salamat, Jules. And after that round, we have Allen and our wild card, JB, in the lead with 40 points, followed by Raymark with 20 and Marco with 10 points. So, congratulations, contestants, for making it to our semi-finals, di ba? Pero, bago tayo magpatuloy, konting chika-chika moments muna, di ba? So, Allen, bilang isang fan ng Miss Universe, alam mong tayo mga Pilipino, mahalagang makapasok ang contestant natin. <laughs> Sa top 5, handa ka na bang para makapasok sa ating top 4 ng K-Check? Ang moto ko ngayon is laging handa. Pero syempre, uh, equal naman talaga yung competition. This is a competition. Natatalo, may, may natatalo, may nananalo. So, ano lang, thankful to the result, pero still, be prepared. Pero kailan ka nag-umpisa, nagkaroon ng fascination or interest sa Miss Universe? Grade 2 po siguro nung kay Venus na. Pero hindi ko siya napanood ng live. Thank you, Allen. Ha? So, basically, managing expectations siya. Okay, ito naman, si Ray Mart. Ano yung mga paghahanda na ginawa mo for today's semifinals? Nag-jogging ka ba? <laughs> hindi po. Natulog po ako ng ano, 10 hours. Wow. Sarap. <laughs> Nakakaingit. <laughs> Parang ingit na ingit tong si JV na nakatulog ka ng 10 hours. But being able to sleep for 10 hours is not only a luxury, it is actually also a necessity, di ba? Maraming maraming salamat, Alan and Rainmark. And speaking of paghahanda, gawin na natin yon. Kasi bago natin kausapin si Markle at saka si JV, maghahanda lang tayo ng konti para sa round 2 na darating na sa pagbabalik ng Key Check. At tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Points recap muna tayo. Nangunguna si na Allen at JB with 40 points each, followed by Raymart with 20 points, at si Markel naman ay may 10 points. Tuloy ang ating chikahan at pagkilala sa ating mga contestants. Markel, nung huli ka namin kausap, sabi mo hindi ka nagra-rap kahit na nakikinig ka nga ng rap music. Ngayon ba kaya eh, baka naman pwede kang magbigay ng sample sa amin ng iyong possible rap talent. Sorry po. Hindi po ito showtime kaya ano. <laughs> <laughs> Nireserve niya ata yung talent sa ibang show. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Market. So, na naman si JV o si John Vincent. So, since nung last tayo nag-usap, no, may nakatalo na ba sa Mango Graham Shakes ng Area 2? Dito po yung isang kalsada sa UP Diliman na nagbibenta ng shakes. Siyempre, wala pa rin. It's still the best for me po. Okay. So, para sa kaalaman din ng lahat, si JB ay mixed-handed, yes. di ba? So, yes. ano yung ginagamit po for the buzzer today? I have to use my right hand for the buzzer po. Pero uh, for writing, I use my left. For strength requiring task naman, I use my right. Okay. Strength uh -huh. now kasi kailangan pabilis. Okay. So, now it's time for round two. So, contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. Laging tandaan, wait to be called before you answer. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Kaya naman, let's, let's begin. begin! This is round two and this is question number one. 
Which South African actress won an Academy Award for the movie Monster and also starred in the films Mad Max Fury Road and Snow White and the Huntsman? The correct answer is Charlize Theron. Question number two. What religious and philosophical system was founded in China by the philosopher Lao Tzu? Alan. Taoism. And this emphasizes the relationship between the cosmos and human health, longevity, and ethics. The answer is correct, Kate Question number three. The city of Sofia is Europe's third oldest capital and is famous for its rich history dating back over 7,000 years. In what country can you find Sofia? Marco. Hungary. The answer is incorrect. JV. Greece. The answer is also incorrect. Raymark or Ellen? Sofia can be found in the country of Bulgaria. Question number four. What term may refer to an aircraft that does not have a pilot but is controlled by someone on the ground? Raymark. UAV or unmanned aerial vehicle. The answer is incorrect. JV. Autopilot? The answer is also incorrect. This may refer to a term that is an aircraft that does not have a pilot but is controlled. Marco. Drone. Drone. Because the complete question is, it's a term that may refer to an aircraft that does not have a pilot but is controlled by someone on the ground. Or it may also refer to a male bee. So the correct answer is drone. Okay, check. Question number five. In what country did a revolution take place between 1787 and 1799 and reached its first climax there in 1789? Alan. France. France is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number six. What is the name of the Visayan mythical dragon-like character whose name means bent snake? Alan. Bakunawa. Bakunawa is the correct answer. Kate Question number seven. A pair of alien mummies that mysteriously turned up at the airport in Lima were revealed to be dolls fashioned from both human and animal parts. In what South American country did this expose happen in January 2024? JD. Peru. Peru is the correct answer. K check. Question number eight. Which Australian pop rock band recorded the song She Looks Perfect, which topped the charts in four countries? Raymond. Five seconds of summer. Five seconds of summer is the correct answer. K check. Question number nine, this time taken from the Japanese word for pierced meat. What do you call the delicacy consisting of fresh raw fish or meat sliced into thin pieces? Alan. Sashimi. Sashimi is the correct answer. K check. Question number 10, which sprinter retired in 2017 after winning eight Olympic gold medals? Marco. Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt won eight Olympic gold medals. He also held world records in the 100 meters, 200 meters, and the 4 by 100 meter relay. The answer is correct, k -check. Question number 11, what figure of speech is this when a character addresses someone or something that isn't present or is deceased? Raymar. Personification. The answer is wrong. Alan. Apostrophe. Apostrophe is the correct answer. K check. Question number 12. In the 14th century, this disease, dubbed as the Black Death, killed almost half of the population in Europe. Alan. The Black Plague. The answer is incorrect. This is the Black Death, which killed almost half the population of Europe. What is this disease believed to be transmitted by a bacillus carried by flea-bearing rats? Raymark. Bubonic plague. Bubonic plague is the correct answer. K-check. 
And that's it for round two. All right, let's do a points recap after that round. Si Allen ang nangunguna with 130 points at may triple tie tie for second place. Sila Remark, Markel at JB ay may 40 points each. Mm -hmm. Pero hindi pa tapos ang laban. Tandaan, habang may round, may pag-asa. At susunod na ang ultimate pagalingan round sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. Welcome back to K-Check and after that second round, Alan is in the lead with 130 points and Ray Mark Markle and JV are all tied for second place. And now, to find out which contestant goes into our finals, it's time for our ultimate Pagalingan round. Let's go for those points and for the win. Remember sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang ating mga katanungan. Sa round na ito, correct answers are worth 30 points each at may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Let's, Let's begin. begin! Ultimate Pagalingan Round kick off by Prof. Marla. What is the primary purpose of genetically modifying crops to express Bt or Bacillus thuringiensis toxin? Raymart, pesticide. The choices were A, improving nutritional content, B, increasing yield, C, resistance to pets, D, drought tolerance, E, enhancing flavor. The correct answer was resistance to pests. I'll accept pesticide. K check. Prof. Neil. Ano ang naging dahilan sa pagbuwag ng mafilindo, isang samahan na pinangunahan ng Pilipinas at kabilang ang Malaysia at Indonesia sa parehong taon na itinatag ito noong 1963? A. Alitang politikal ng mga kasaping bansa. B. Kawala ng suporta ng mga Amerikano sa organisasyon. C hindi pagsangayon ng Senado ng Pilipinas na pinamunuan ni Ferdinand Marcos sa samahang itinatag ni Pangulong Diyosdado Makapagal. D. Pagpapatalsik kay Socarno bilang Pangulo ng Indonesia. E. Protesta ng Brunei na hindi sila isinama sa organisasyon. Letter A, alitang politikal ng mga kasaping bansa. Prof. Gigi na. What is the critically acclaimed Filipino romantic comedy film directed by Sigrid Andrea Bernardo, released in 2017? The film follows the story of Leah, si Alessandra De Rosion, a Filipina tour guide based in Japan, who loses... Alan, kita kita. Kita kita. Kay check. Prof. Marla, please. What role do free radicals play in the aging process? A, they slow down aging. B, they accelerate aging by causing cellular... Ray Mart. B, uh, they accelerate aging. The answer is incomplete. C, they have no effect on aging. D, they promote cell regeneration. E, they improve... In Markle, they accelerate aging by causing cellular damage. The correct answer is B, they accelerate aging by causing cellular, cellular damage. K, check. Prof. Neil. Anong kasunduan ang naging patayan sa peace talk sa pagitan ng gobyerno ng Pilipinas at ng Moro National Liberation Front noong panahon ni Pangulong Fidel Ramos? A. Cairo Accord B. Damascus Accord C. Dubai Agreement D. Jeddah Summit E. Tripoli Agreement Ang sagot ay letter E, Tripoli Agreement. Maraming salamat, Prof. Neil. Prof. Chichi. What is the art movement 
that marked a period of renewed interest in classical knowledge, leading to a revival of art, science, and culture. Talent. The Renaissance. The Renaissance art movement covers the 15th and 16th centuries and characterized by an effort to revive and surpass the ideas and achievements of classical antiquity. So, A, Renaissance, K, check, Anna. Prof. Marla, it's your turn again. Which organism provided inspiration for the development of the CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing technology? A, bacteria. B, fruit flies. C, humans. D, mice. E, elephants. Michael, C, humans. C, humans is wrong. J, B, B, mice. D, mice is wrong. Raymond, A, bacteria. The CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing technology was inspired by the natural defense mechanism against viruses of A, bacteria. K-check. Umahabal si Raymond. Prof. Neil. Anong kaharian ang binanggit sa Laguna Copperplate Inscription? Ang pinakalumang natuklasang dokumento sa bansa. A. Butuan, B. Manila, C. Pila, D. Sugbo, E. Tondo. Alin? Tondo. Tamang sagot ay letter E. Tondo K. Check. Prof. Gigi. What is the other term for formal balance? That is a design principle that involves arranging elements in a composition in a way that creates a sense of equilibrium and visual stability. In this type of balance, the elements on one side of a central axis mirror or closely resembles those on the other side. A, asymmetrical balance. B, Allen, symmetrical balance. In symmetrical balance, the distribution of visual weight is evenly distributed on the left and the right side of a given visual space. The correct answer is C, symmetrical balance, K, check. Prof. Marla, for the last round on our ultimate pagalingan round. What is the purpose of a radiation monitoring badge in radiation dosimetry? A. To measure radioactive decay B. To detect beta particles C. To monitor external radiation exposure D. To measure absorbed dose from alpha particles E. To measure the radiation half-life The correct answer is C, to monitor external radiation exposure. Prof. Neil. Ano ang tawag sa nangyaring massacre ng mga magsasaka noong 1987? Allen. Hacienda Luisita Massacre. Mali. Bilang protesta sa kakulangan ng gobyerno ni Pangulong Corazon Aquino na magpatupad ng reformang agraryo. A. Escalante Massacre. B. Hacienda Loisita Massacre C. Mindiola Massacre D. Palembang Massacre E. Paniki Tarlac Massacre Markel E. Paniki Tarlac Massacre Mali Remart or JV, pwede pa kayong sumagot Ang tamang sagot ay letter C. Mindiola Massacre And for our final question Okay. By no other than <laughs> Professor Chichi. Okay, popular culture naman po tayo ngayon. What was Sharon Coneta's 1978 first hit single when she was a 12-year-old newcomer? A. Between Walang Ningning B. Langis at Tubig C. P.S. I Love You D. My One and Only Love E. Mr. DJ Mr. D. 
DJ and Mr. DJ was written for Sharon by renowned composer Ray Valera. Ray Valera. That's <laughs> right. Tamang answer ay E. That's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to Alan. Our third finalist with a score of 235 points. He will receive a tablet courtesy of TVUP. We'll see Alan again on Friday when he competes in our K-Check Grand Final. Yes, thanks to our other contestants, Raymart, Markel, and JB. Palakpakan natin sila. Maraming salamat for joining. And to our panel of experts, Professor Marla, Professor Neil, and Professor Gigi. Once again, I'm Jules Giang. Ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check. K -check.